Good morning, everybody, and I have to apologize because I have uh, an event down in uh, Tijuana that I have to uh, leave for. But uh, simply, I, I just wanted to talk a little, little bit about my legislative package this year. Two very important bills that I think are going to really help bring uh, money to our, our region. <clears throat> I uh, introduced the bill, a California Capital Access Program that's going to target small businesses in underserved areas, which, it, which is most of my district, actually that would bring, uh, increase the cri lending criteria for businesses. As many of you know, who have ever tried to get a bank loan, they, they only lend people to, to, they only lend money to people that don't actually need, need the money. The lending criteria is very small. What we sought to do with this effort is to target businesses in underserved areas, number one. Number two, increase the lending criteria so more business qualified. So when you go to a bank, the likelihood that that bank will be able to give you a loan increases, and it'll be any bank that you bank with, uh, and we pretty much made it so uh, uh, small business finance uh, programs, uh, 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 neighborhood lenders all qualify to participate in the state program. We leverage $84 million into about $2 billion worth of loans for small businesses. The biggest issue in putting people back to work is invest in the areas where most people work and small businesses, uh, if small businesses employ over 90% of Californians. So if we can uh, free up the capital to small businesses, they can they can uh, work on improving their business plans and and uh, uh, increasing their size. <clears throat> the, the other thing that I wanted to mention today, I, I have another bill that deals with the state bank, uh, uh, our infrastructure bank, uh, how it loans money, uh, it has loaned over $30 billion since it's been created. This year we have about $500 million available for loans to businesses, uh, uh, nonprofits, and, and cities and uh, government agencies for economic development projects. We strengthen the criteria to make projects eligible that produce jobs and that also address issues of the environment that we've been legislating at the state level. So. I, I kind of targeted projects in my district that I think would qualify for this money because... Yeah, 15 seconds. Uh, so, and the last thing I want to talk about is border crossings. Uh, we need to reduce border wait times. In, in my district, if we reduce border wait times about, uh, by an hour, we're looking at $7 billion to the California economy, sustainable per year. These are new and permanent jobs we bring to California if we worked on that. I know our, our congressman has been working on that, our, our state legislators have been working on that, and, and we need to secure funding and approve the, the next phases of, uh, of border crossing projects. I, I wanted to share that with you today. Thank you, Senator.